Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Um, today, you know, I have an old vlog that I had recorded that I never uploaded, which I'm going to be re-recording. Um, but today, I actually wanted to talk to you guys about berries, berries kobo. Um, for those of you who are Hello Project fans, I'm sure you all know at this point that they have announced that they are going to indefinitely, uh, be basically, be put on indefinite hold coming after the spring, uh, their spring concert tour next year. Um, it's pretty clear that they are disbanding and they are quitting uh, and they are ending because of the way that Momoko specifically worded it, which was that they are um, she didn't want to use the word disbanding because it it has a negative connotation. So just by the way that she described that, it's clear they are disbanding. They just want to say it in a nicer way. Um, you know, interestingly, when I first heard it, I was shocked. Uh, my friends will remember when I, I was in, we were in Vegas actually after the concert, the Lady Gaga and Lady, uh, Baby Metal concert. I was shocked. I, I didn't know what to think. I was really upset, but I was like, oh, whatever. I, I just, we were at Vegas. I forgot about it. We continued. I had fun. Um, I came home and then I saw some posts about it um, with a little bit of a translation and it started to sink in. It hit me and I, you know, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm a little upset. You know, Berries has been around for a while, and, and they're there, and it's going to be kind of weird without them. And then I started seeing everybody in Morning Musume, and all of the blogs I follow, of all of the Hello Project idols that I follow, posting about it. And a lot of them sad stuff, too, like like what Sayu posted and what Kanon posted, uh, Kanon Suzuki. Um, but it still didn't sink in. And then the next day, it really sunk in. I just, I just like, I started to think about it, and I realized, wait a second. You know, it's funny because I very adamantly follow Morning Musume. I buy everything they make. I am a extremely avid fan of them. I love them to death. And they are the ones who got me into the genre. They're the ones who really helped lifted me up, and which is a vlog for another time. Um, and you know, they were really cool with me. But one interesting fact about me is that shortly after I started listening to Morning Musume and I started buying their stuff, I discovered Berries. This was shortly after they got formed, about a year after they got formed, maybe a little bit less. And I, I fell in love. Their youthful, childish nature and like the way their songs were, the way they were quirky and fun. Um, granted, a lot of Morning Musume was quirky and fun, but this was just a genuine quirkiness. It was very interesting. Um, so I, you know, I, I instantly fell in love and I kept following them, following them. I followed them through their whole entire careers up to now. Uh, I've been a fan since. Never really invested the, in them monetarily. Always put my money towards Morning Musume just because I felt like I had a loyalty towards them first. But you know what? The fact is Berries has always been in my heart first. And one of the biggest things I love about them, which is why they're not so popular, is the fact that Sunku often uses them to express deeper ideas and more interesting ideas about society around us through Berries. You know, he usually is more risky with them and them and him both together managed to make a really deep group which I think is interesting out of an idol group because usually it's very poppy love this somebody dumped me I love this person somebody's pretty save save the world things like that you know very happy things usually very happy things or things that are related to love you know that's usually what pop especially Japanese pop usually focuses on but they focus on other things like like uh, recently especially with um, the focus on uh, talking about the careers talking about um, the the diet problem that's been happening in Japan lately. Depending on how you interpret that song, it could be positive or negative. I interpreted it as being negative, uh, negatively talking about how the country is. But things like that, you know, even going back to how they did, did a cutesy version song of, of uh, talking about uh, Genghis Khan, um, which is a cover of, a, I believe it's a German group, cover of a German song. But that being said, it's still not exactly the nicest song about the nicest subject. A bunch of little girls singing about it. I thought it was interesting. So they've always been a little bit, a little risque with the risky with the topics they cover, which I've always loved. Um, and they've been very quirky, over the top. So I've always been able to connect with them as a result. Another big thing is because I've watched them since the moment they started, and they've never changed members except for losing a couple of members earlier on. Um, they've pretty much been the same group, and they've grown up, and I've grown up with them, and I feel that I also have that personal connection. You know, we've grown together. So. As a result, now that it's sunk in, it really hurts. You know, I've said this before, and my friends who have, who are on Facebook with me already know this, but 
the way I look at it, there's three pillars that hold the whole Hello Project up together. There's Q, there's Morning Musume, and there's Berries. There is essentially the beginnings of the pillars that created Hello Project into what it is today. Yeah, you've got splinter groups. Yeah, you got shuffle groups. Yeah, you have Juice Juice now, which is fantastic as a smileage, uh, and whatever new group that Sunku is planning, which he did say he's making a new group, um, or he hinted at making a new group. So even even with all that, they are the three pillars. You get rid of one of those pillars. What does that happen mean for the support of the of the system? And it's not like he's uh, actually. It's not like they're switching out the girls or bringing in new ones and getting them ready to be a new and fresh berries. No, no, they're just stopping. That's it. So that being said, I'm really sad about it. Uh, I'm gonna miss them to death. They've been very influential in my life. Uh, you know, it may be a little corny, but really they have been. Um, J-pop in general has done a really good job of uplifting my spirits, making sure I stay positive in life. You know, it's it's a silly thing, but you know, really, music does have an effect on people's souls in different ways. And for me, that's how it affected my life. It, it brought positivity in my life, especially through Berries and, and Morning Musume. So, you know, I'm going to miss them. I'm going to miss them dearly. They'll always be in my hearts. Um, honestly, when it comes to CDs, uh, proportionally, I actually own more Barry stuff than I do Morning Musume, interestingly. Uh, I almost own all of Barry's singles, and I own every single album they've released, whereas for Morning Musume, I don't own all of their albums, and I own only about 20% of their singles. So, granted, obviously Morning Musume has many more, but that's what I'm saying, proportionally, I actually have more Barry's CDs, music stuff, than I do of Morning Musume. So, yeah, I've supported them from the beginning, as soon as I was a had my own job and have been able to. I love them to death. I'm going to miss them. But... The fact is, they're adults. They have their own lives. If they want to move on, they need to move on. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you can't be an idol forever, and they probably realize that. You know, they have to try to... Excuse that. They have to try to, you know, press forward and, and move forward with their lives, and I understand that. That being said, I support them 100% in whatever they do, and I hope you guys do as well. Um... It's been a long journey, a very fruitful, very lovingly endearing journey that they've gone through. And as a fan, I'm very proud to say that I've been with them pretty much from the beginning all the way to the end. And um, I don't regret a single moment of it, and I hope they don't either. And I hope they know that us fans will love them and support them through to the end, no matter what happens. And after that, whatever they do, I'll support every single one of them. Yes, even Momoko. I will support all of them. So... That's that. Um, one last thing, I want to make an announcement. Uh, I am going to be going to Japan. I know I've said this multiple times, but with this announcement, I am definitely going. I'd like to go in November so I can make it for Sayu's graduation. Uh, my best friend pointed out, and a very important fact, is that even though I love Morning Musume as they are, and I really appreciate them as they are, Sayu is the last rem remnant of the Morning Musume that I grew with. The Morning Musume that is my Morning Musume, which is Platinum Era. She's the last remnant of that. And it's going to be a very special thing. When she goes, a very, very big thing is uh, is happening there. So, I mean, that's, that's, for me, that's special and big. You know, once she leaves, there's a huge transition that's going to be made for Morning Musume. It's not going to be the same ever again for me. I'll love them. I'll enjoy them. And I do love them and enjoy them. They're all really cool. But it's a nostalgia thing, you know, and sentiment. sentiment. So I'd like to make it for the November for her graduation concert. Um... And then, of course, I'll see Berries as well then. But I'm not sure I'll be able to swing that because I'll be in school and I'm already taking time off to see them in New York. Um, and I do want to go to New York. I don't really want to cancel that trip, mainly because I don't... We need to show them support on a domestic level to show them that they can go abroad and, and be profitable and make fans happy at the same time. So even though this graduation is important to me, I feel like this is more important for the group and for Hello Project as a whole. So if I have to choose New York or her graduation concert, and I can only choose one, New York is what it's going to be. So I probably won't be able to take time, extra time off on top of New York in order to go to Japan, because uh, I'd want to at least go for a week. Um, and I want to go twice. So if I don't go once this year, I'm going to go twice next year. Once is just going to be traveling having fun, and second is going to be just for concerts. So a week of just concerts with all of the groups is what I want to do. So, yeah, I'll try to make it for November. I'm probably not going to, so I'll miss her graduation. Very, I'm going to be upset about that, but what can you do? And money doesn't grow on trees, and I do need to finish my education quickly so I can get a proper job and move forward with my life. Um, 
so I'm probably going to go early next year, obviously before before Barry's leaves, so I can see them perform. So that's going to involve a lot of saving. As a result, I'm probably not going to be buying as much. I have one more big order I'm making, and that's probably going to be it. I actually just went through putting a bunch of my stuff on eBay. I'm going to be selling a lot of stuff. So um, I'm going to be tight on cash. So you may not see a lot of interesting unboxings from me unless I'm buying a bunch of cheap stuff, which I am doing. But like full products, probably not. Not so much as I used to. Um, and for those of you who follow the Sauerkraut and Curry site, um, I'm not going to have as much activity on there either. I'm probably going to get rid of my PlayStation 4, I'm still considering it, uh, among a lot of other stuff in my in my possession, so that I can make this trip, uh, these trips. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed my vlog today, and um, there'll be more info coming up. I did finally finish recording my Renai Hunter uh, cover, so that'll be up tomorrow. I'll have that up tomorrow. Um, it didn't turn out as good as I hoped it would have been, but considering the amount of time I was practicing, but I think I kind of grew complacent because I was practicing for so long. Uh, but I do think I did better than I than my other dance covers. And finally, um, me and Dora and uh, Moore are going to be working on a tribute dedication cover to Berries uh, using Cha Cha Sing. Uh, more details on that will be coming up. I won't be revealing too much information yet because we still need to plan out the details, but that is going to happen and we will have it done by the end of this year as a tribute for Berries. Uh, and I have more covers. I'm running uh, now, as of tomorrow, I'm going to start working on uh, Aiwa Itsumo, uh, Aiwa Itsumo Kimi no Naka Ni, I believe is the name of the song. I always get the words mixed up. Uh, Barry, what, Barry's newest single. And I'm also going to be doing a cover of Bar 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 from Crayon Pop and a cover of The Power by Cute. Um, I haven't decided which order I'm doing them in, but I'm going to essentially be practicing them simultaneously, and then whichever one I'm most comfortable with first is what I'll record. That's it. Um, I hope you guys take care, and I'll see you guys around. If you have any discussions or comments about the Berries announcement, please make them below. Uh, I do, I've, I'm sure you guys already know, I do actively reply to your guys' comments. So, yeah. Definitely, I'd love to discuss it and see what you guys think about it. Are you guys happy? Are you guys sad? Are you guys indifferent? Or or what? Take care, guys. I'll see you around.